Four issues are in his mind as the presidential spokesman addresses State House correspondent. The incoming administration says it's going to probe the books of the NMPC. The Jonathan administration has gone ahead to release the audit report for the public and says it's not afraid of the review of its books. The incoming administration will be perfectly within its rights to review all actions of the present government as it may deem fit. We see nothing wrong with that. After all, the present administration reviewed the actions of previous governments on assumption of office will result in benefits of policy and project implementation. President Jonathan is also deeply concerned by the continuing suggestions that his administration still has anything to hide about the unproven allegation that about $20 billion is unaccounted for by the NMPC during his tenure to lay this matter to rest. President Jonathan, in line with Section 7, Subsection 2 of the NMPC Act, has directed that the full report of the PWC forensic audit of the NMPC accounts be released immediately to the public so that all Nigerians will be properly informed on the matter. On the alleged recall of Nigeria's envoys in South Africa, the presidency says the story is not true. The child affair has been invited um, just for routine consultations by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, the recall of an ambassador is a very serious and sensitive matter, and that has not happened. Political campaigns and the war of words may be over, but the presidency is worried that it's not over yet for the APC spokesman, Chief Lai Mohammed. Chief Lai Mohammed has alleged that the nation's treasury is being looted by the administration, a statement the Jonathan administration describes as uncharitable. President Jonathan has not and will not never condone any form of unscrupulous conduct on the part of state officials. President Jonathan will also never authorize any attempt to create any problems for the incoming administration. As the APC spokesperson, who ought to know that the outcome of the March 20 presidential elections does not imply a cessation of governance on justly alleged. On the devastating earthquake, the Jonathan administration extends condolences to the government and people of Nepal. The presidency notes that the devastation did not just affect Nepal, but the entire humanity, assuring of government solidarity at all times. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.